you're starting to see more different types of people who previously couldn't start a business start one and that by itself kind of creates diversity and competition and diversity and founders i think pre-lockdown um, a lot of founders kind of came from the same background and now i'm seeing a lot more um a lot more color uh to the mix which um i'm totally absolutely in favor for kind of introducing new narratives and perspectives covid and lockdown highlighted a lot of inequalities you're seeing a lot more people have conversations about inclusion and diversity in the workplace so on the topic of childcare is how inclusive is our culture in the business when it comes to people who are parents or as a startup scene for many years have we just catered to the young millennials by having kind of ping pong and craft beer on tap now it's a case of we're also um, recruiting and hiring people who aren't in that phase in their life and they're in a completely different phase in their life and in what way are we accommodating that a lot of companies would have had to have these conversations at some point but what i'm noticing is that companies are having it a lot sooner for like a diversity perspective there's nothing negative that comes to mind i think instead of negative maybe the challenges that exist right now it's about the way we hire you're finding companies who are starting to look for talent in other parts in the country um and they may not necessarily understand what the culture is in those parts of the country and just seeing what how that kind of turns out looking at okay if we do move to a remote model hiring people outside of the UK and other countries and then now that we're out of Brexit how does that work so i think what you're starting to see is that companies are realizing things have to change the world is new and so you're probably having a lot more questions than answers my hope is for companies to where possible not use fear to answer those questions so that they don't produce negative outcomes but instead use those questions to start dialogue so that they can produce more positive i say air quotation positive outcomes act like a scientist we don't know the answers but we know there's a whole bunch of questions we want to get answered and as we answer each question we start to get a piece of the puzzle to help us figure out what steps we should be making there's definitely something interesting about personality types that have come out so what i mean with that is those who feel really eager and comfortable to come back to the office and those who don't feel eager and comfortable at all we want to be really careful that we don't discriminate that and what i mean with discriminate that is discriminating and judging and treating people differently who choose not to come into the office and those who do especially as an agile coach i've kind of seen teams where you're starting to see a fragmentation in those teams some choose not to come in and some do and you're starting to see subcultures be created and formed in those teams if you ignore it, it can turn into an in and out group and um we all have to just look towards the po- towards politics and social media or what happens when in and out groups are formed and echo chambers are formed